but I don't want to eat garbage. I just, I'm good. Going, trying to eat garbage. Yeah. Garbage in, garbage out. I hear you, girl. Good for you. You know, she should talk to Amberlynn Reed. Garbage food. But, I, but Amberlynn Reed will never give up her views and her bucks to get healthy. Just, just saying. it. Hello, beautiful people. It's Mama Goob. So today I wanted to take a break from Miss Amberlyn Reed as she really got me <laughs> this last Friday or whenever I reacted to that video. I think it was Friday. So um, I honestly haven't cussed somebody out like that in a hot minute, but she just got me going, guys. Um, and then I saw Becky posted a live. I caught a few minutes of it and they were talking about like games and such, which isn't really my interest. So I clicked off of it. But anyways, I wanted to, since Amberlynn Reed hasn't posted and I really do need a break from her, I thought we would look at um, Hungry Fat Chick today because uh, just to see where she's at. I did one video on her. I don't dislike her by any means. Um, the video I did on her was concerning because I was afraid she was the next life by Jen, but it looks like she's gone in there and sort of gotten things on the right track now. So I believe she's been on the carnivore diet for probably about two months now. So, um, you know, I, let's check in. I haven't seen any videos of her recently. Um, so let's see how she's doing. Why not, right? Okay, so this is called Weekly Weigh-In and What's New, and she's looking for a new side hustle. Aren't we all? Anyways, let's see. We probably won't react to this entire video, but I don't know. Let's see what she's got for us. Wednesday night dinner. Just a big old chuck steak. Yeah, that actually looks tough and fatty. I, you know what? Back in the day, like early in my marriage, we definitely ate stuff like that. But now, I don't know. If it's not real steak, it's ground beef. We're poor. But not to the point that I'd eat this. But she's on the carnivore diet, so. And some pickles. Pickles. All right, I have uh, four little zero-carb tortillas ah. with two servings of Rayo's pizza sauce. Uh, yeah, Rayo's is life. When you could get that um, on sale, yes. Other than that, when I'm budget conscious, which is every day, it's Classico, especially when they're buy one, get one free. But if Rayo's is on sale, man, whew, and I only use the sauce for uh, special things. Otherwise, I should be making it myself, yes. And two servings of mozzarella cheese. All total, it's about 340 calories. Um, Those look good. Yeah, there's a few carbs with the sauce and stuff, but it's not horrible. <laughs> there's actually only one serving of pepperoni through all four of the tortillas. So, yeah, that's the highest calorie part, I think. All right, Thursday night meal. Guys, you know what? I get I get shit from everybody because I'm of Italian heritage. I cannot stand olives, especially green olives. Uh, I've got two cans of tuna fish, uh, two heaping tablespoons of uh, the Sir Kensington's avocado mayo, um... Probably a quarter cup of cherub tomatoes, uh, <clears throat> six olives, which is three servings of olives. Do those have the pimentos in them? And uh, salt, pepper. Sorry, guys, I can't help it. I am actually really picky when I eat. I don't have a good palate. I'm just going to say it. <laughs> Garlic powder, onion powder, paprika. Or paprika, paprika and turmeric or turmeric. <laughs> turmeric. Turmeric is good. I like that. 
Um, I used to make golden milk all the time. I haven't done it in a while. But yeah, that's my dinner for today. Okay, there it is all mixed up. I forgot. I forgot to mention I also added uh, spicy brown mustard and dill pickle relish as well. Okay. Yeah, the majority of my day I'm just... Yeah, she doesn't look much different to me. I mean, maybe she's... I don't know how much she's lost, so let's see. Relaxing, watching my comfort shows and movies. <laughs> <laughs> she should be trying to walk around at this point. I don't know if she's done it, though, so maybe she has. All right, it's Friday, August 25th. Um, I'm just having leftover broccoli casserole. Mm, that looks good. Hey, y'all. It's that time again. It's August 25th, um, and it's time to weigh in and see where I'm at this week. So that was Friday. Um, yeah, it's been a kind of boring couple of days. <laughs> uh, had some uh, steak and, you know, not a whole lot of interesting recipes or anything, but I will post my food for you guys, so. <laughs> All right, here we go. She's still, is she still using a walker? <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. The Emberlyn Reed talking scale. But she's not 550. She's not near 550. Hello. It's ready. Okay. Uh, all righty. She looks like she's still struggling to stand long enough to get her weight. 403.8. Oh, wow. 403.8. Ooh. Going in the right direction. Yeah. All right. She's almost in the 300s. That's awesome. Ooh. Thank you, guys. Oh, my goodness. Well, that is nice to hear. Yeah, that's her exercise for the day. Woo. Uh, all righty. Goodbye. Bye. 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 All right, so she's down 4.6 for the week. That's good. I'm, you know, I'm curious. I don't know what she started at. I'll have to look that up if she doesn't say it. Oh, great. She put it up. So she started on 615, and she's lost a total of 49 pounds. Holy shit. And she has a much smaller frame and, a, well, actually a much smaller starting weight than Amberlynn. So, um... You know, if she can lose that much weight and, I mean, hungry fat chicks stuck to the diet, guys. You know, again, you see that whole, like, not straight across down. You do. You fluctuate some, especially women, you know, well, maybe not Amber Lim Reed, but, and I'm not sure if hungry fat chick has all the, you know, um, internal organs that a woman has. But, um, you know, hormones do play a part in your weight. So it's not a straight line, it's bumpy, but the trend is down. So she's doing great, guys. I mean, she was at like, she was knocking on death's door. You could see she's still not right. Um, she has other work to do besides weight loss. Like they have to put her on the right medication and, you know, she needs to keep up with her congestive heart failure. She's got a lot of work to do, but definitely the 49 pound weight loss helps. Hey y'all. <laughs> um, just popping in for a quick hello tonight. Yeah, when she's sitting up, she looks better. Yes, now I can see it. I guess when anybody lays back on a chair, it looks terrible, but I can see the weight loss now. Uh, before I get to editing, I just want to, you know, say hi to everybody and talk about my weigh-in a little bit. Um, yeah, not too bad. I'm, I'm down a few pounds this week, so... That's good. Uh, not much further to go before I get to 400. Mm -hmm. So, you know, hopefully I can, you know, hang in there. Right. <laughs> you know, just another week or two and I should be past that one threshold, you know. Um, not a whole lot has been going on uh, in the last few days. Um, I haven't even cooked anything interesting. Uh, you know, just had some leftovers. I think I cooked a, a steak. Nothing you know, wrong with that. Just 
pretty basic. Um, yeah, and today I just had the leftover broccoli stuff that I had from the other day. So, you know, not a whole lot of interesting food to share. Not a whole lot of interesting information, you know, other than I'm just trying to find... Hey, you know what? Same old, same old's better than constant turmoil. Stuff to do with myself. Um, hopefully some kind of side hustle will come along. I hear you, baby girl. <laughs> to, to help my, my paychecks yeah. out. <laughs> so I'm playing around with... I want to see what her views are like, actually. Eh, 19,000 views, 14,000 views, 24. Yeah, she's, you know, she gets far less views than Miss Reed, not to be comparing everybody to stupid Amberlynn, but um, I think her views are more deserved, but um, her really popular videos have over a million views, so that's interesting. Let's get back to the video, though. Things like that. I'm... I'm you know, there's lots and lots and lots of videos on YouTube about this side hustle or that side hustle. And, uh, you know, I'm already kind of uh, working with Amazon a little bit, doing some affiliate stuff. Good. You know, I get serious about that because, you know, it's bringing in a couple of dollars here and there. But, you know, there's other ways that I could, you know, I do like reviews of products that I buy and stuff like that. Um, and I've also joined the Amazon affiliate, uh, not affiliate, um, I'm in the affiliate, but there's also an influencer Ooh. program, so I really could do some review videos. She sure stuff. could. So, that could happen. <laughs> yeah, and especially now that she seems like she's feeling better. I mean, that <laughs> weigh-in video was a little concerning because she could barely do it, but she seems pretty good now. <laughs> I'm just... You know, you know, anything to, to keep from being homeless, for goodness sake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the, do what you got to do, baby girl. Last two months has been pretty rough, you know, pretty I'm sure. Rough. Oh, man. But, you know, I knew it was going to happen. That was one of my biggest fears about giving up the whole mukbang thing. You know, and yeah, I'm, there's a lot of people out there supporting me and stuff, but... um. Views are down, mm -hmm. like, you know, way down. I mean, they were already not great anyway um, in the last year. But, uh, and not only that, I've kind of screwed myself, you know, with the algorithm a little bit because, you know, I'd skip days and stuff. Same girl, same. stuff. You know, you really need to be consistent with the at yeah. least twice a week or the algorithm's like, a hungry fat chick who? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You do. <laughs> um, you know, so, you know, kind of got to just hang in there. Yeah. And I think this time of year is. Yeah. Keep plugging. Is, is typically bad. I think summer months are just kind of bad mm. for my. Well, right. People are on vacation. You know, there's a lot going on in the summer. There's, you know, outside activities. People aren't necessarily inside watching YouTube, um, you know, unless they're in South Florida where it is ridiculous hot, hot. It's like so hot you can't even go in the pool. CPM, anyway. Um, it tends to pick up, you know, stuff tends to pick up over the holidays for some reason. Okay. I don't know. Summer versus holidays, I mean, people are off, you know, they're sitting around watching YouTube, <laughs> you know, but maybe people are going, you know, vacation. Well, it's the advertisers. They're trying to get in, you know, the last bit of advertising they can get before, um, you know, year end. So I used to do swag bucks. I don't know if anybody's ever heard of that, but um, it's basically a, a site where you could do surveys and, you know, watch videos and you get paid through gift cards. It's, it's a lot of work for, like, if I made a dollar a day, it was a lot of work. I'm talking like hours. Like it had to be in the background and whatever I was doing, I would click a button, make sure I stayed active. Um, you know, I've made a bit from Swagbucks, but their main season was the last quarter of the year too. So like that's when the advertisers all put out their advertising. That was our big money uh, quarter. 
big money at swag bucks. I'm talking like maybe I easily made a dollar fifty a day, just depending. So uh yeah, I don't know why. Fourth quarter is when everybody when all the advertisers, you know, spend the rest of their budget. And stuff on their summer break, who knows? Um you know, I know kids are going back to school soon, if not already. I don't know anything about all that, but <laughs> Oh goodness, you know, and I I know that the the chat PD, chat GPT, um, it could take just a few prompts and like right. create this fantastical story. Yeah, I did a whole video on what Chat GPT thinks of Amberlynn Reed. I will try to link it. Um, I think I did a three video series. Um, also. My other channel, which is kind of dormant right now, I just have not had a chance to get over there. It's about travel. Um, Chat GPT at least gives me the, the bones of the story I'm going to tell. Because basically what I do is take my travel videos and, um, you know, sort of narrate a story for what it's worth. You know, that's actually that stories that I'm actually mm -hmm. finding interesting and stuff. So I'm like, you know, this is something that was pulled out of the ether, mm -hmm. you know, just some kind of little, you know. It's like pulled out of the collective, really. You no know, thing that wouldn't exist otherwise. And why not share it somewhere? Yeah, you know? exactly. So I don't know. There's always somebody looking for something. It's just another way to, to play and hopefully find a new minor source of income. Sure. And I've got little sources of income here and there. You know, I've got my, my, my fans stuff mm -hmm. and all that stuff. And good. Oh Lordy. You know, that's not on the top of my list of things to do, but you know, I'm dipping my toe <laughs> in there as well. <laughs> Lord help me, you know, but, um, good for you, girl. You get it. The main thing right now is that I stick to this, you know, lifestyle choice that I'm making here. Um, yeah. And, and. Well, so she can have a life and continue to do these videos and live her life. And maybe she can get, you know, to a place where she could start traveling and, you know, visiting people in person. Keep doing my best to, to go the route of health you know, yeah, and good. wellness. Yeah, good. And just stay away from the eating on camera, you know. And if I ever, you know, want to do that again, I'm just going to keep that on other sites. <laughs> just, But I doubt I do. I mean, I don't know. That would be the easiest thing I could do, I'm sure. Yeah, I am glad she recognizes this. That says a lot. But I don't want to eat garbage. I just, I'm good. Going, trying to eat garbage. Yeah, garbage in, garbage out. I hear you, girl. Good for you. You know, she should talk to Amberlynn Reed. Garbage food. But, I... but Amberlynn Reed will never give up her views and her bucks to get healthy. Just just saying. I still like a little garbage. I still like a little garbage. A little too much cheese. Of course. A little too much artificial sweeteners. And... Well, what's wrong with artificial sweeteners? And, and additives and whatnot. Yeah. I mean, the Whole30 is a great kind of diet. I don't know. Woo. I don't know if it's a weight loss diet or whatever, but, um, you know, that definitely had me off artificial sweeteners. I can only do it for a month, guys. I, I like sweet and I don't like sugar sweet, actually. So the sugar part was no problem, but the artificial sweeteners really, really was hard. Um, You know, and I'll have days here and there where you know, I feel like my inflammation's up a little bit. Mm -hmm. I've got to like rethink, what did I just eat mm -hmm. <laughs> that's going to affect my body in this? Those Spanish olives? What? And With pimentos? Just don't do that, Candy. Don't do that. And if I do, then, you know, I'm a masochist, you know. <laughs> So that's kind of what's going on there. 
that's the the last video I posted. Yeah, you know what? I'm glad she's posting this stuff because this is a thing with me too. Um, you know, it's trying to figure out <laughs> what happened. So for hers, she's in the midst of changing her audience. So I've talked about this with Becky and it's fine. Whatever you want to do on YouTube, you can do. But if you want to do something different on your channel than you've been doing, you have to grab a new audience. You're going to lose your audience. You're going to have a bad spot, but then you're going to pick up new viewers like me. I was not into her mukbanging at all, but now I'm interested in her weight loss because that's what my channel is about. It's, believe me, you know, I get a lot of views from ragging on Amber, um, but at this point, a lot of us Amber Lynn reactors have got to branch out because her ship is going to sail in a minute, you know? I think she's done pissed us all off. So, you know, I want a fresh a breath air. <laughs> a breath of fresh air. <laughs> said that backwards. On my channel where this is why I'm looking at Hungry Fat Chick. You know, it's probably not going to get the views that my Amberlynn Reed rants get. But, okay, guys, I need to bring in the people who are looking for the positive And to understand that weight loss and health can be attained. But, unfortunately... It takes a lot of work and a lot of dedication. So, but yeah, I hear her on the whole losing your, you know, fewer views. Yeah. Yep. People just aren't watching the, the cooking videos and the what I eat videos. So, I don't know. I got to find a better way. We'll see. So, I quit listening to that and I started listening to my, my cat purrs again. And then I kind of started going off the off the rails a little bit with my you know, diety situation. Um, and I was like, oh man, let me go back to listening to my, uh, my crickets with the, <laughs> with the say no to binge eating stuff. Mm -hmm. So, so I've been. Yeah. I, I'm a big fan of the whole, uh, subliminal message thing. I, I love that. I used to have it where I played it on my TV all day to make me not want to eat. Um, you know, so uh, yeah, I don't, I mean, I don't know if it works. At the end of the day, you just have to like not eat right or, you know, eat correctly. I'm putting that back There's on. no magic. So I'm kind of back on track. It's so weird. It's, it's placebo. Yeah. It's, it's totally placebo. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, if I believe it's going to work, it's going to work. work. <laughs> um, and the one I'm listening to the last couple of nights. But I've also, um, you know, run into some things about the placebo effect. The placebo effect is actual medicine. Whatever you need to do to cure yourself, you need to do. Whether it's really working or it's just your mind, something has to fix it. Right, is uh, like to, to draw wealth in abundance. <laughs> it's like, come on, help me out here, universe. Yeah. You know, I'm I made the you. mistake in the beginning of the year after taxes saying, oh, no, I made too much money last year. I need to make less money each month, you know, and that's when I kind of started. No. Okay. Oh, not that I'm a tax professional. I mean, I've, I've done taxes. I'm eligible to do taxes. But um, what you need to do then is invest more. Okay. You don't make too much. You just need to invest more to make even more money you know, and you always need to grow. That's my strategy, but I don't know. It's skipping, you know, days during the week and stuff. And uh, maybe that wasn't a good idea. To yeah. So, and I'm not giving her tax advice, but maybe she'd be suited to have like a manager or a consultant or somebody who can help her grow her channel and that's a write-off, guys. So, um, and it's a good write-off because you're increasing your business, and that's what the IRS wants to see. They want to see you make money so you can pay taxes. But it's a win-win because she'd have more money, and then she has to make quarterly tax payments and keep on top of it and see if she's making enough quarterlies. And, you know, go with that. You have to pay attention. You're a business owner. This is what you do. It's why I advise anybody who wants to open a business should take some basic 
you know, accounting classes, basic tax classes, something. So you're educated. To say that or think that because, you know, then I stop, you know, things started like going down and it's like, oh, wait a minute. That's not what I meant. <laughs> I just don't want to pay 22%. That's, that's too much. <laughs> yes. She got, she got caught in a higher bracket. Yeah. I hear you. It's ridiculous. Uh, it's like one penny over the, the thing and you're over the bracket and you're fucked. I, I hate that about our system. No, and it wouldn't be so bad if I was on the upper end of that tax mm -hmm. bracket, but I'm on the very lower end. Yeah. But I still got to. Me too. Same, samesies. This is funny how much I am dealing with similar issues here. <laughs> Not with weight, but with, you know, business. Pay the same amount. And it's like, damn. <laughs> so this is turning out to be more of a business reaction. I'll surely get no views on this. Fuck you guys. Oh, Lordy. It's Jordy. I don't know. But I'm a work from home kind of person. Yeah. You know. Same Z's. I just. Oh, gosh. Even back in my 20s, I had a hard time um, just being somewhere, you know, around people. Same Z's. The thing is, is if you're the work from home type, you have to be the self motivated type. Because it's very easy to, you know, fuck off all day. So you have to have a project. You have to have something you're working towards. You have to keep busy. Uh, that's why, you know, I like, I have wants to go out and do stuff. Right. But the stuff I want to do doesn't involve being in a, in a room with a bunch of people. Amen. <laughs> you know, somebody was like, well, if she doesn't want to go to the doctor's office, you know, how, how do we believe she wants to go out and, you know, explore the world and mm -hmm. do things, you know, once, once I get mobile again, it's like, well, you know, there's a big difference between going to a doctor's office and sitting around a bunch of sick people, mm -hmm. you know, than going out in the middle of the woods somewhere. Right. A hundred percent, a hundred. Or like for me, it's stores like Costco. I can't do Costco. You know, any of the grocery stores, it takes a lot for me to go because, you know, during the pandemic, I really acquired agoraphobia, right? And I'm working through it. It's, it's tough, guys. It's weird. It's like the pandemic ruined a lot of us, uh, me included, because I definitely like I'm already stressing because I know I have to go into the office one day next week and I already booked an office because we do only hoteling. I could get a cubicle or an office, and I'm like, mm -mm, I'm sitting in an office by myself on Zoom in the office. Oh. And talking to a squirrel. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Yeah. That's why I love our land. Love it. Can't wait to go back, but it's a bad time of year. Oh, by the way, guys, pray for my land and my camper because it looks like it's potentially in line with the new friggin' hurricane. Welcome to Florida, though. It's hurricane season. Yay. Big difference. Oh, so. Uh, and yeah, yeah, it's it's agoraphobia. And yeah. It's not like yeah. I haven't been. A Holy shit. Yes, it is. It is 100%. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe how much I'm relating with her right now. Oh, um, I used to go out a lot. And it was usually with someone mm -hmm. that I trusted. Mm -hmm. And I could kind of focus on them. Well, for me, when I go, maybe because the person that I go with usually actually isn't very supportive and gets pretty angry when I freak out, I like to just go by myself. Because let me tell you, I don't care what strangers think if I'm like hyperventilating or crying or whatever. I just don't care. But when a loved one is upset that I'm freaking out, I, I really get upset. So... I prefer to go by myself and just like have headphones in, just try not to observe other people, you know, hold on to my purse real tight and try to get in and get out. Well, I did, you know, what I had to do out there, um, but it's been a long time. I haven't actually left to go anywhere for fun since February of 2019. Yeah, 
Same. Like I would never go to like an amusement park. Any travel I did was business or, you know, getting my son off to college related. I, well, I take that back. Um, by myself, I left in 2019 to go have fun. I went uh, to at least two Christmases with my friend Catherine. Uh, we drove to the to the to the speedway, and mm -hmm. they had the the Christmas lights. Oh boy! I went there a couple of times. Good. But, you know, I mean, just I never even got out of the car and went in anywhere or did anything. Oh, and I went with Nick that one time, and we went into the the uh, Heart Attack Grill yes. and uh, made a couple of other stops. You know, yeah. that was cool. Yeah, that was that was good. I I had that. I played that video here. Uh, Part that of was it. hard too. Uh, the vehicle that he had was a little bit high up and stuff, so it was a little difficult for me to actually get in the vehicle. But I, I managed to like get on a curb and step in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm so short. I'm short. And then with my hip issue, it's really difficult for me to lift my legs to get up in. Yeah, I hope she can get her hip replaced. So Papa Goob actually had two hips replaced. And it's it's been amazing. Like, you know, he was born with some kind of a misalignment that just wore his hip bones out. And, you know, we replaced him. And now he's the bionic man. Anything. Um, so there's another worry, you know, if I ordered a lift or something like that, could I even get in the vehicle? Uh. So the other thing, my mother, she's very short. And, um, once we had to go use my husband's truck because we were going to go look at bamboo and we had to give my mother a little ladder so she could get in the truck. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, but you know, that's stuff I've got to work on mm -hmm. as I go along and I'm not there yet anyway. So, uh, but y'all, I don't know. I'm just doing the best I can here. Yeah, we all are. But anyway, I thank you guys for spending time with me. Um, so that's about it for hungry fat chick. Um, she seems to be doing well. This turned into a little bit more of a YouTube business discussion, which I actually like. I don't know if you all will, but, um, you know, rather than weight loss, I mean, she's doing fantastic, guys. She's really trying to save her own life, which I find inspiring, and I wish others would find inspiring and motivational, but we shall see. Anyways, thank you so much for giving me your eyes. I appreciate all the time that you've spent commenting, liking, subscribing, guys. Keep it up. Share my videos. Hoping to, you know, have the algorithm love me again because, yeah, they don't love me right now. But anywho, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Bye.